Hey there guys, welcome back to another video, Malik here, and today we're going to be talking about is the difference between incremental backup and differential backup. So, the difference between those two are, it's it's very, they're very close, but they, they do separate things, right? And now I found an article online that explains this in better detail than I could off the top of my head. So it talks about differential backup and incremental backup because they're both they're both based on the day one full backup, right? So the differential backup on day one will back up everything and then on day two it'll copy everything that has changed since day one. And then on day three differential backup will then copy all the changes that have been since day one. It it you know forget about day two it doesn't bother with day two right and then you know say you go to day four and you it'll copy all of the things on day four from day one right and the thing about that is that uh, differential backup takes up much more space because it disregards uh, anything else previously previous to the uh, current differential backup those don't really matter it's basically when you when you want to go back to like a differential backup it'll it'll base itself on how to restore all your files from day one to the current differential backup that you're trying to restore to now when you go to incremental backup on day one it'll do the same thing do a full backup and on day two it'll do the same thing just like on differential backup it'll you know back up all the files that has been changed but on day three it'll back up all the stuff that has changed from day two now if, if differential backup it backs up everything based on day one but now incremental backup based on itself a day ago so Day one, full backup. Day two, everything that has changed. And day three, everything that has changed from day two. And with that, it uh, incremental backup takes up uh, much less space than differential backup. But incremental backup will take a little bit longer to restore itself because of um, all the different files it has to go through to get a good understanding of uh, all the files that needs to be put where it needs to be when you're restoring back to your computer. So, altogether, differential backup takes up much more space because uh, the days in between from the uh, most recent to the first day doesn't really matter. It just, you know, it takes up a lot of space, basically, and it just, you're restoring from day one to, say, like, day five. Day two to day four doesn't really matter in differential backup because the most recent differential backup is based on day one. That's why it takes up so much space, and incremental backup is based on its backup uh, previously. So, like I said, day one, and then day two's backup is based on day one, and day three backup is based on day two, right? That's why it takes up much less space. Hopefully, you got a good understanding of the difference between both of those, and you can um, probably choose the the best way to go about these different backups. And hopefully, you can probably choose, you know, the much less space taking them. I I decided to go with incremental backup because it takes up much less space. Because you know, I don't really care how long it takes to restore my computer, as long as it gets restored. If you like this video, please let me know by hitting that like button and leave a comment down below if this helped you out in any sort of way and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace